Well, I feel very proud. I mean, and it's a great honor, no? I mean, to have at, uh, what I would say, I mean, uh, the nucleus of the Dominican the leadership. I mean, to honor me, I mean, at, uh, I would say, I mean, why? Why? I mean, at, uh, everything that I had done, I had done it because I feel that uh, my community need me. I have been very lucky at, uh, to that sense, and uh, it's a great honor, I tell you. It's a great honor. I mean, I said uh, uh, I'm supposed to serve my community. And I said I'm supposed to serve my community because, I mean, if you take into consideration that I went to medical school, I paid $50 my first year. I never paid any cent any longer in the Dominican Republic. I got an education, thanks to the Dominican people. I mean, I had to give them something back. And that's what I tried to do. What I tried to do is because they gave me so much. I mean, I come from a very poor family. I mean, my mother came here as a seamstress to work in the government industry. I stay back in Santo Domingo Medical School. I mean, that all I can do is really to give them back. I mean, at, uh, and I do it with pride. I do it with love. I mean, at, uh, and like I said, I'm very lucky. Very lucky. I really appreciate I mean, uh, the senator, uh, the councilman, uh, the assembly woman. I mean, uh, to honor me. But I said, I mean, they're giving me a gift that sometimes I said, why? Why? Because, I mean, at, uh, why do? I'm supposed to do it. I mean, at, uh, like I said, I do it from my heart. But uh, human, made mistake. I mean, I made mistake a lot. At, uh, but today, it was like a journey of my life. I saw my life passing by. People who were there with me at uh, four years ago. And to see the Johnson now, I mean, that new generation of uh, Dominicans, I mean, like I said, I mean, I to know that a large number of them at, uh, are going into at, uh, American school all over the place. I mean, I introduced this young girl, lady who's a scientist at a Columbia PhD in, uh, in Michigan. At, uh, to know that over there we have physicians, I mean, that, uh, that the Veterans Hospital is having a program in the Dominican Republic this week. And then the dean is going the following week, the dean of the medical school is going the following week to start a research program, to start a change program, you know? And to see all of that really, I mean, give me a lot of pride. And like I said, I mean, at, uh, uh, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. This community, the first thing is to, to really cement what we have. And what we have is I part Washington Heights, what I have the Bronx, but now we extend all over. I mean, I feel that uh, community has a future on two things. One is education. If we have to be sure that we educate our kids. And we know that four years of college is not enough. I mean, that we have to convince them to go to graduate school. I mean, and my goal, I see my goal being at, uh, for my thanks, thanks 50 years of what in life. So really push a cake to say to me, you really have to be educated. That's one because I mean, you really have to know. The second thing is that uh, again, to work with my experience to maintain unity. It's very hard, I mean, we are known that Dominican way, six hours in one room, we divide the three groups. And then six hours again, and we divide again the three groups. I, mean, I feel that uh, my maturity now really push me to work toward unity. I mean, and that's something that uh, I see. I see also consolidation. I mean, at, uh, we have to invest in here in this country. We have, we're going to stay in this country. I mean, we have really to work hard but to invest in this country. And we have to convince our youngsters also. When they go to college, when they go to graduate school, to stay in the neighborhood. When they get a job at Columbia, to stay in the neighborhood. And I feel that that's another that, uh, uh, area of hard work.